Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing Venus, the brilliant morning star, shining brighter than almost anything else. It's our closest planetary neighbor and roughly the same size as Earth. Yet, despite its proximity and similarities to our planet, Venus remains one of the least explored worlds in the solar system. Why have we sent far fewer missions to Venus compared to Mars? What challenges make Venus exploration so daunting, and could future missions finally unlock its secrets? Join us as we dive into the mysterious world of Venus, unravel its hostile environment, and explore why humanity has prioritized Mars over this enigmatic planet. When comparing Venus and Mars, both have captivated humanity for centuries, but for very different reasons. Mars, the red planet, has long been associated with the possibility of life. Its surface is dotted with what appear to be ancient riverbeds and lakes, sparking curiosity about its watery past. In contrast, Venus, shrouded in thick clouds of sulfuric acid, appears inhospitable and unwelcoming. But appearances can be deceiving. Venus holds clues to the fate of Earth, a cautionary tale about how a once habitable world can turn into a hellscape. To understand Venus is to understand planetary evolution, and by extension, the forces shaping Earth's own future. Mars is also alluring due to its apparent accessibility. Its thin atmosphere, seasonal changes, and even its reddish hue make it a fascinating target for both scientific inquiry and public imagination. Stories of Martian canals and civilizations fueled early interest, and today, the search for life keeps Mars' exploration at the forefront. But does this mean Venus lacks compelling mysteries? Far from it. One of the main reasons Venus remains underexplored is its extraordinarily hostile environment. The planet's surface temperature averages a scorching 475 degrees Celsius, 900 degrees Fahrenheit hot enough to melt lead. This makes Venus the hottest planet in the solar system, even hotter than Mercury, despite being farther from the Sun. Then there's the atmospheric pressure, which is 92 times greater than Earth's. Imagine the crushing weight you'd experience standing nearly a kilometer underwater. That's what a spacecraft endures on Venus's surface. And let's not forget the toxic atmosphere. Venus's clouds are made up of sulfuric acid, and its thick carbon dioxide blanket traps heat through a runaway greenhouse effect. Lightning storms rage through the dense clouds, and winds in the upper atmosphere blow at hurricane speeds. It's a world that seems to resist exploration at every turn. The planet's surface is a volcanic wasteland, with features like vast lava plains, towering mountains, and mysterious pancake domes. These features suggest a geologically active planet, but understanding this activity requires more exploration. Could there still be active volcanoes shaping Venus today? Space agencies have sent several missions to Venus, but the results highlight just how difficult exploration can be. The Soviet Union's Venera program achieved the first successful landings, but even these hardy spacecraft survived only minutes to hours before succumbing to the planet's extreme conditions. The longest surviving lander, Venera 13, managed to send back data and images for just over two hours. In contrast, Mars offers a far more inviting environment for exploration. Although cold and lacking a breathable atmosphere, its conditions are manageable for robotic rovers and orbiters. The success of missions like NASA's Perseverance and Curiosity rovers, which roam the Martian surface for years, underscores why Mars has become the preferred target. The harshness of Venus extends beyond its surface. Even orbiting the planet presents challenges. The dense atmosphere reflects most sunlight, making it difficult to study the surface using traditional imaging techniques. Radar mapping, like that performed by NASA's Magellan mission in the 1990s, has been crucial, but much of Venus's story remains hidden. The possibility of life is a driving force behind Mars' exploration. Scientists have found evidence of liquid water in Mars's ancient past, raising tantalizing questions about whether microbial life might have once thrived there. Even today, researchers are searching for underground water reservoirs that could harbor life. Mars also offers clues about planetary habitability. Its ancient river valleys, lake beds, and deltas suggest a wetter and potentially habitable past. By studying Mars, scientists hope to learn why it lost its atmosphere and water, which could inform our understanding of Earth's long-term stability. Venus, on the other hand, seems less likely to support life as we know it. 
However, recent studies have challenged this assumption. In 2020, scientists detected phosphine in Venus's upper atmosphere, a potential biosignature that reignited interest in the planet. Could microbial life exist in the temperate layers of Venus's atmosphere, far above its scorching surface? Phosphine isn't the only reason to explore Venus. The planet's history holds clues to how Earth-like worlds evolve. Was Venus once covered in oceans? Did it have plate tectonics and a magnetic field like Earth? Understanding these questions could reshape our knowledge of rocky planets both in our solar system and beyond. Mars exploration has benefited from decades of technological advancement. From rovers equipped with state-of-the-art instruments to orbiters mapping the planet in stunning detail, our toolkit for studying Mars has grown immensely. But these tools are often ill-suited for Venus's extreme environment. For Venus, traditional electronics fail rapidly under the intense heat. Developing technology that can survive and operate on Venus's surface is a monumental challenge. Engineers are experimenting with heat-resistant materials, advanced cooling systems, and sulfuric acid-proof coatings to build durable landers and rovers. NASA's proposed Da Vinci Plus and Veritas missions aim to overcome these challenges, focusing on atmospheric studies and surface mapping. Da Vinci Plus will study Venus's atmosphere in detail, while Veritas will use radar to create high-resolution maps of the surface. The European Space Agency's Envision mission will complement these efforts by studying Venus's geology and atmospheric dynamics. Could these missions mark the beginning of a new era of Venus exploration? The answer depends on continued investment in cutting-edge technology and international collaboration. Understanding Venus is crucial for understanding our own planet's past, present, and future. Venus and Earth started as twin worlds, with similar sizes and compositions. What caused Venus to evolve into a fiery inferno while Earth became a cradle for life? The answer could shed light on climate change and the long-term habitability of planets. Moreover, Venus's thick atmosphere offers a natural laboratory for studying the greenhouse effect on a planetary scale. These insights are invaluable as we grapple with climate change on Earth. Venus also provides a window into volcanic processes, atmospheric chemistry, and planetary interiors. Exploring Venus could also inform the search for exoplanets. Many of the rocky worlds discovered around other stars are super-Venuses, with thick atmospheres and high surface temperatures. By studying Venus, we can better interpret data from these distant planets and assess their potential habitability. Although Mars has taken center stage, Venus is poised to make a comeback. In addition to NASA's Da Vinci Plus and Veritas missions, the European Space Agency's Envision mission will study Venus's atmosphere and geological activity. Private companies and international space agencies are also showing renewed interest. Could we one day see a Venus rover capable of surviving its harsh surface? Or perhaps even a floating city in its upper atmosphere, where conditions are more Earth-like? These ideas may sound like science fiction, but they're becoming increasingly plausible as technology advances. Floating habitats, in particular, have captured imaginations. Venus's upper atmosphere, about 50 kilometers above the surface, has temperatures and pressures similar to those on Earth. These cloud cities could serve as platforms for scientific research and even pave the way for human exploration. Venus may not have the allure of potential life that Mars does, but its mysteries are just as compelling. As we develop new technologies and expand our exploration efforts, Venus offers a chance to understand not only a neighboring world but also the processes that shape planets across the universe. So, what do you think? Should Venus exploration take priority over Mars? Or are we right to focus on the red planet? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating explorations of our universe. To truly grasp the importance of Venus, we need public interest and support. Share this video with friends and family who are passionate about space exploration. Encourage discussions about where humanity's next great adventure should be. Together, we can push the boundaries of what's possible and uncover the secrets of our celestial neighbors.